Hi, everyone. So this is for Chapter 7, uh, Section 7B. Uh, some of people are having a different issue because the book is a little bit different than what ArcGIS Pro is showing. So this is ArcGIS Pro 2.6. So in the geoprocessing pane, type in create locator and we're going to use create address locator. And when we do this, we can use the textbook in terms of the fields to fill out to uh, help explain what we want to do. So we want to use US addresses dual range. The reference is going to be the streets. And the role will be primary. So let's do two left. Or actually just do is already filled in left and two left two right two right from so then let's scroll down to full name so what we need is the prefix direction, which isn't filled in. Prefix direction is going to be pre direction abbreviation. So pre direction abbreviation. Prefix type is going to be the pre type. Street name is street name. Suffix type. is suffix type abbreviation suffix direction suffix direction and that should be everything else that we need to fill out so now we just need to name the address locator or where it's going to go so we can just click on this your address of where the ad go might be different since it's on your computer, but you can just highlight this and then put housing underscore address underscore locator. And so now we should have it filled in. It's going to take a while to run. And so now we see that the address locator is complete. We can go to our catalog pane and you'll notice in here, here's our under, your folder might be different of where it's located, but we can see now we have our housing address locator. So the next thing it wants you to do is to just drag this public housing uh, site in. And so I put that in here. And the next thing it wants you to do is to right click and then go to geocode table. Because these are all, so we have the roads here and your color might be different. And now we want to have this housing data where it has houses and we want to put those house locations in the correct location along the street roads. So we will right click here. And we'll this. So, here we can go through and go start. So we want to make sure we have the public housing sites CSV file in there. It's going to be more than one field. You can click this button and it'll open up the attribute table. And you can see we have more than one field. Here we have the attribute, the address. We have the zip codes, um, and so forth. So we have more than one field. We can close that. So then we can go next. Now we want to find the input locator, and this is the housing. When we use this is ArcGIS World. This is a geocoding that is provided by Esri on ArcGIS Online that you can also use, but we created our own, so we'll use this. Click next. And street address intersection and zip code. So it's like, well, is this the right field? Well, you can open up this 
and it goes street or intersection. Where's the street or intersection? Well, it's going to be the address. And our zip code field is zip, right? So there we have it. So we know we got the right fields that it automatically detected. So then we can go next. And output is going to be called public housing geocode. Uh, what did the... So the textbook wanted you to use public housing sites. So we can just kind of go this and delete that. It will let us. Um, yeah, it's not going to let us. So we'll just leave that there. So then we just go finish. And here we have our table. And we'll notice our table looks similar. Is that going to let us change it? It's not going to change it. So input table. Public housing site. This is the same kind of table what it looks like on page 242 of your textbook. And now we'll just run this. And you'll notice on page 242 of your textbook, step six, the number of matches is identical. So there's 87 matches, three unmatched, one tied. So now we got to go and match these three and then figure out this tied one so that should get you going on uh, the new address locator